What is up, friendos? It's Utashio here, or Steven, depending on your pronunciation. And I'm gonna be doing Spelunky 2 Daily Challenges from now on. Despite the name, I don't know if I'm going to be doing them literally every day. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna start putting out some uh, some daily challenges for Spelunky, just so you guys can see me uh, see me play through. I want to humanize myself a little bit by showing you guys outside of the guides that I make. I also suffer horribly, just like you, at the hands of merciless Spelunky 2 mayhem. I just... You guys need to see that I suffer just as much as everybody else, because this game is, uh, not easy. Let's do a daily challenge. Here we go. Oh, who to play, who to play, who to play. I don't actually have all the characters yet because I haven't spent time unlocking a, a couple of the last few since I've been making videos, but uh, Manfred's, he's a solid choice, solid choice. Tunnel man indeed. All right, this is gonna be funny because I'm gonna be uploading these daily challenges. I'm sure other people do this as well, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if I die immediately, which, you know, can happen from time to time. Uh, due to just sheer tomfoolery. And if I die right away, then I upload a five minute video of me talking for three minutes, playing Splunky for two, and then dying. And uh, everybody's just gonna have to be okay with that, and uh, you're all gonna watch it anyways because you love me. Oh! Yeah, I, uh. I don't know. I have. I would consider myself pretty decent at Splunky. I've been playing Splunky. As some of you might know, um, I've been playing Spelunky since Spelunky uh, Classic, like the old, old one. Uh, and then, of course, I played Spelunky HD when it came out, and now Spelunky 2, obviously. So I've been here from the beginning. I, due to my, uh, you know, I still, I still work a day job. Uh, I'm an engineer, and I work a 45 to 50 hour week, so uh, between that... And then, you know, working on guide videos and Let's Plays and other things. Uh, despite despite me making all the Splunky guides, I actually don't get a ton of time to just play the game outright for, for myself. Which is why I haven't unlocked all the characters. And which is why I haven't made it to the Cosmic Ocean yet. But, you know what? Don't... People, people don't have to know that, okay? People don't have to know that I've never made it to the Cosmic Ocean. But, uh, I have made it very, very close. And, uh, you know, all in, all in due time, one of these days we'll get there, and then, uh, I'm sure not long after that, we'll make it to, uh, all 99. We'll, we'll go 799, beat the Cosmic Ocean. One of these days. <laughs> I say that with so much hope. I don't know, Spelunky 2 is a tough game. one's tricky. I, uh, I'm probably not gonna put my face, uh, in these videos like I normally do for Let's Plays, just because, uh, I will be focused and there will be moments of silence when you get to enjoy my sick Spelunky texts, uh, and you will hear my voice, uh, narrating in the background, but I want you to see the whole picture here. I promise, uh, I'm not making any funny faces that you haven't already seen before. But, I want to stay a little bit focused here. I don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, I've actually never done... I did daily challenges in Spelunky uh, HD. Rat oh, jetpack. I'm just going to buy it. I could steal it, but I can also afford it because I've had very lucrative rounds. So why, why risk angering the shopkeeper... Why, why risk it? Why add the hazard if I can just get the jetpack and be fine? That's that's my plan. I've never done uh, daily challenges in Splunky 2 so far. This will this will actually be my first one. So we'll see how uh, how hilarious would it be if on my very first daily challenge I just casually go all the way. I mean, oh my gosh! I'm trying to pick up this torch. 
but it, it can't over the turkey but I didn't want to let the turkey get up and walk away because then he was gonna get killed by the by the uh, punchy trap Ugh. curse you spelunky hmm. I am probably gonna go black market route uh, you know when I first like when I first got spelunky 2 uh, and first found out about- Oh my gosh, I am making some egregious <laughs> mistakes here. I just got hit twice by that caveman. Um, when I first found out about Volcana and uh, Dracula's Castle- Wait, oh, oh, what am I thinking? I'm so dumb. I thought I was holding the torch still, but obviously that can't be the case because I have a chinchilla. When I first got uh, Drac Dracula's Castle and got Vlad's cape, like- not only did I personally think that Volcana was a, a bit easier and safer than Jungle, uh, you know, it's also, you get, you get Vlad's Cape guaranteed every time for free. And Vlad's Cape, if we're being honest, is, like, I, I, Jetpack is still better, obviously, but Vlad's Cape is, is really good. I mean, it's, it's an extremely close second. You can get away with it. Uh, just fine and it's free and it's guaranteed whereas shopping at the black market uh, does not guarantee a jetpack and you need in my opinion you don't need I mean you don't really need anything except raw skill but having having one of those two mobility items is just massively massively helpful wow wow that's expensive I'm gonna get spike shoes though spike shoes are the way to go there Plasma Cannon, I can guarantee I would absolutely just end up killing myself by accident. Bricking this run. But, um, I would always go Dracula's Castle for the reasons that I've stated. But, recently... Recently, I've been fond of, uh, going to the black market instead. Just because... It's not as bad. The... the the jungle isn't as bad or as threatening as I, for some reason, thought it was. I don't know. My memories, my memories from from classic were just uh, tainted or something. I was t I was always terrified of jungle and man eater traps and everything. Well, now and with the bear traps, it's it's even worse. But it's not that bad at the end of the day. So uh, we're gonna go there because it gets us uh, potentially lots of bombs because bombs are really. Like, bombs are really what you need in Spelunky. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Jetpack, great. Nice, fantastic to have mobility. Spring shoes, climbing gloves, like everything, great. Super helpful. Would obviously take them any chance I could get, but if we're really breaking it down at the end of the day, like, bombs. Bombs are S-tier, top-tier items, Spelunky. Gotta have them if you have any hopes of doing practical things. So, I've been recently opting for the black market in, in hopes for, uh, yeah, big, big old, big old bomb box sales and, uh, and, and paste as well. Oh my god, paste from the, from the spiders is, is, I would say, almost essential too. Just for how many, like, bosses you can benefit from being able to sticky bombs to. If you, like, Osiris, if you're going to, uh, Duat, you gotta, you gotta have paste, in my opinion. It just, it... It makes the fight trivial. Uh, it also helps with just the little things too. With like Anubis, you know. I don't know. Black Market is good. It's the way to go, uh, in my opinion. Uh, the more that I think about it and as I've been playing recently. Just my opinion, obviously. Feel free to... Oh god, I don't feel cozy. I don't have to be wasting my time on this guy. I hope this doesn't blow up the bomb bag. Ah, oh, nice. That's worth it then. That's net value because spent one bomb, but we get three and some HP. Never a bad thing. Uh, typically, when I get to this stage of the game here, if I'm going black market, I will spend a healthy amount of time having uh, Quillback destroy a lot of the ground uh, just to try to maximize the money I get because... I need to be able to afford... I'm not I'm not a fan of robbing the black market either. I don't know. I know some people do. But that's because some people are better than me at this game. And they feel way more comfortable 
around uh, angry shopkeepers than I do. I just don't... I'll do it. I'll anger a shopkeeper for good items if I'm having a low money uh, run. But if I am having a lucrative run, if I have the money, if I have the money, I'm, I'm going to buy stuff just to make my life easier. So I always uh, run Quill back, uh, have, have him do a, a couple laps. Oh God. Just to get as much money as possible. Oh, holy moly. I was not expecting this. All right, here we go. We're gonna we're gonna cheese this because I don't think she can go through it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna blow a bomb for this, for sure. Cause royal jelly, too good. What is it? this background cave? Is quite the background cave. If we're being if we're being honest here, yeah. lots of money and good stuff to be had back here. Sorry, my phone vibrating for a second there. Uh, cape, ew, gross. I mean, great item. Fantastic item, but not a jetpack, of course. I would have to be literally insane. Oh, son of a gun. I actually hate the bees. Their movement patterns to me are just like so, they're so twitchy. They're so erratic. It's, I, I, I hate them. I hate them. Hate bees in real life. Hate bees in this game. Oh, look at, oh my god, there's so many of them stuck in that web. I didn't even, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see the, uh, buzzing, uh, level feeling <laughs> at the beginning when I spawned in. I had no idea. Okay, so killing that guy wastes another bomb, but gets me more money, but I'm pretty good on money right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I feel pretty good about my monetary status this run. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Could be more bombs. It was not more bombs. That's not what we like to see. Uh, I need, depending on Oh, it's already three minutes? Oh god, I did not realize I was taking this much time in this level. Holy macaroni. Um, I'll take that. Thank you. Bombs? Compass. Oh, the level exit is that way. Am I screwing myself? A little bit here? I think I might be. We gotta make some, some maneuvers here. We got the split ghost. Not my favorite. I think we're gonna be okay though. And we're clear. I was never worried. Everything was fine, always. What just died down there? Oh, I don't know, something, something, something died down there. I would have ideally liked to have had a Kapala here, but there were no altars. But it's okay, we will do without. We got some, we got a lucky uh, royal jelly. We killed Quillback, we're, we're all right. I suppose if I wanted it badly, I could have uh, checked the Geist shop, but why, I, I don't know, why would you do that? Why curse yourself? Uh, down to, okay. Why curse yourself down to one HP and a daily challenge, you know? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm being bad, that's what's happening. I gotta be more careful. I'm moving carelessly. We might be able to we might be able to nab a Kapala here. I think we can. I think we got enough stuff. I don't want to waste a bomb to get to that guy though. Okay. Okay. 
Grab the ledge, Manfred. We got, come on, you got a job here. You gotta focus. Oh, I didn't want to kill that guy. I forgot I had spike shoes. Should have whipped him to get more favor points. Because as we all know, alive bodies are worth more than dead bodies. I have not, I don't know if you guys have been keeping count. I have not been keeping account of my uh, favor points. So I do not know. Oh, am I gonna make it? There we go. Oh, I don't have the time. I'm not gonna make it. It's almost three minutes. I have to go all the way back up. This is so risky. I'm taking a risk here. Oh wait, it's blocked off. Anyways, I'm an idiot. Oh no. Hello. Oh, oh shoot. I need to get the, 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 the girl. I need to get the sister. She can give me more bombs. Well, if I get her other sisters too. I think we'll be all right. We're fine. Not happy about it. Would have liked to have gotten the Kapala there, but oh, another incessant buzzing round? What, uh, what's the deal? It makes me a wee bit uncomfy to go for this queen with um, with only two hearts right now, but do I just, is my boomerang gone forever now? There we go. Yeah, it makes me a little uncomfy to go in there with only two hearts, but the payoff for another royal jelly could be good. Okay, all right, that's not, not so bad. We're relatively safe. Come on. Come on. Come fight me. Where is your... Where is your mama? Give me the queen bee. Is she over here? Here she is. How many boomerang hits will she take? Oh, there goes my boomerang. Spike shoes. Ha ha ha. Get wrecked. And now we've got a bunch more health. Which makes me very comfy. And more bombs, I hope. More bombs, yeah, now we're talking. Let's see, I have a compass, don't I? I do. So there should be, I suppose the, uh... oh, hey, hello. I didn't even have to use your secret door. That's good. I've had some lucky back layer caves uh, so far on this run. That's a good thing. And based off of the, Based off the fact that my compass is only giving me a single arrow, I know that the black market will be on the last floor of jungle. I hope there's an altar somewhere here, but I don't, it doesn't look like we're gonna get that lucky. Hate, hate monkeys, hate them. This makes me uncomfy, too. All of this makes me very uncomfy. No curse! Ah, that was... That was close. I didn't like that. Didn't like it! Alright, here we have the appropriate... Here we have the appropriate double arrow. To confirm the black market is here. I don't know. It's gonna be fine. Anything. One of the reasons I don't like jungle. Uh, I hate. I hate anything in Splunky that's in, that is insta death. I mean, obviously, I. Of course, I have no problem with the being in the game. It's supposed to be a hard game. I'm not saying they should get rid of them. I just personally am terrified of anything insta death. And as far as insta death goes, Volcana has only lava. That's the only thing that can, uh, that's not true. I suppose you could get crushed by the uh, ball and chain, but even still, that is, that is two insta-kills. Jungle has uh, big spikes. It has man-eater traps. It has bear traps. Like, I just don't, that's three. That's one whole more way to die uh, instantly than in Volcano. 
Oh, there is an altar here. All right, come on. Sometimes I forget. Uh, sometimes I forget that I can use uh, my spike boots to walk on freaking uh, uh, baby baby spikes. I forget sometimes. Thank God. Oh yeah. That, that reminds me. This guy right here reminds me. Another way. It's not an insta... It's not an insta-death, but being cursed is, you know, almost as good as an insta-death. You might as well have died instantly. And they have ways to curse you here. Volcana? Nothing. Alright, where... Where are you? Okay, it's over here. I was worried for a second... Oh, what? You have got to be kidding me. I just spent all this time amassing so much money so I could safely buy everything from the black market. Oh, this is extremely unfortunate. Oh, son of a gun. Uh. <laughs> well, unfortunately... <laughs> Fortunately, we have no choice now. We're just gonna have to deal with this for the rest of the run. That's the kind of run this is gonna be Luckily, there was this extremely convenient naturally uh, occurring death trap right here. That's The saving grace here because I think it got most of them. I Know it didn't get all of them but... All right Come down here, you son of a gun. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, how many more are left? There's a lot of bombs over there. You know, I really, like, really did not want to have to deal with angry shopkeepers on my daily, but, but, it's turning out to be a pretty decent run. Not gonna lie. We've got the head jet, we've got the jet pack, we've got the Kapala, we have paste, a ton of bombs, ton of, ton of bombs, holy moly. We've got a shotgun, uh, it's, it's a good run, it's a good run. I didn't, I didn't want this though. I hate shopkeepers, darn it. That's okay, I'm gonna kill that guy for his blood. I understand, obviously, there's baby spikes right like I understand why the so spike boots protect you from baby spikes they don't protect you from big spikes I get it that that makes sense but I wish just like any part of me that still has hope and like childish ignorance and naiveness just like wishes that spike boots also protected from big spikes It'd be so nice and I will say that's about that is one that is one major advantage that capes uh, especially Vlad's cape has over the jetpack jetpack overall is just better mobility but capes at the very least allow you to um, survive dangerous f oh look there's a jetpack right there is there always a jetpack right there I don't think there's always a jetpack right there capes at least allow you to survive falls into spikes that you make by accident by gracefully descending into them. Jetpack has no such goodness. Oh shoot. That's a that's a bomb bomba bay bombaroomy. Alright, so the next path will be taken. I hate Duat, I hate Osiris with a burning passion. I think uh, I hate temple. I hate temple badly. It's so hard. So many ways to die. Absolutely brutal. Uh, so by that same principle, I mean Duat's not a hard level. Like Duat's fine, but uh, Osiris boss fight is ridiculously difficult when compared to uh, Kingu. And also temple is just like ridiculously difficult compared to tidal pool. So we obviously are gonna be smart people and we're gonna go for 
We're gonna go for tidal pool. It's the safe. It's the safe bet, for sure. I could drop this guy right now, obviously, but uh, I like to wait for him to do his volleys of bombs because they're not hard to dodge, quite frankly, uh, and it at least blows up some of the lower stage to make the uh, third phase a bit easier. Because the third phase, like, third phase isn't terrible either, but you'd be surprised, like, it, it, it can, it can mess you up if you're not being careful. I do have 65 bombs, though. It looks like no bombs from Olmec made it through here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna help myself out a little bit, just because I have, like, copious quantity of bombs. Bombs to spare. I'm gonna clear my own little path here. Have Olmec, uh, Give him a little one-way ticket to Lava Town. I'm gonna make this just a little bit wider because again, we got bombs to spare, right? Normally I would be a little bit more meticulous, optimize my bomb placement for this, but <laughs> we've got so many bombs. Okay. So now we just need to drop him through there, which shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Okay. Don't, uh, nobody saw that. I thought for sure the spread was gonna be enough, but. <laughs> it wasn't. It's okay though. It all worked out. Second try, second try. I wish this went a little bit faster, but I understand. <laughs> I understand it not. That'd be, that would be so horrible if it like went super fast and you dropped him down and just like if something happened or you like just weren't ready for a split second and missed it. I get it. But uh, also wish it went uh, un poquito a bit faster. So this is pretty hilarious. This is shape, shaping up to be a really good run. Uh, I know I neglected, I neglected not to... Uh, try to go for the cause or the uh, yeah the cosmic ocean you may have noticed because i didn't do uh tons challenge to get the bow which means the cosmic ocean is impossible but um that's okay i will honestly i will be happy just beating hundun um because i've never done that either this is does manfred not show up over here in a coffin if you're playing Manfred, that's so weird. He's like always over there. I've never, I've never seen him not over there, but I also don't play as Manfred very often. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Something else that's interesting is because there's this jetpack here, if I wanted to, I get to save the jetpack anyway. So if I was going into Temple and then into Duat, um, I would have to use uh, Wiggler. What, wait, that's his name, right? Whatever his name is. I would have to use him to move my jetpack uh, if I to, to like ice caves and pick it up there. If I wanted to keep it past Duat, because you die on that altar, which sucks. It's another. It's another reason why Duat is just like the worst path ever. Um. So normally there's that huge loss right there, but. Uh, that second jetpack, if I wanted to go do out, which I never would in a million years, but if I wanted to, I could leave one jetpack with Wiggler so that he gives it back to me in Ice Caves, and I could have gotten that jetpack to at least keep the jetpack uh, in Temple, which would have been super nice. But again, only... That seems pointless and stupid. Only absolute, literal, savage lunatics. Regular. This is a kill. Ki oh right, because I killed every. Because every guy in the black market died. Ah. This is the last thing I wanted. Forget this, man. I, I'm not dealing with any of that. We're gonna blow a hole <laughs> right through to the exit. I don't. I don't have time to deal with all those shopkeepers. No time at all. Uh, 
I also very much low key hate that uh, bear traps are not unique to the jungle and that they can occasionally be in tidal pool. That trips me up real bad sometimes. I, that's just so rude. Holy moly. This guy swim up to me. Doesn't matter. We don't have to deal with it. What sucks is we are not... We have no hope of being uh, forgiven this run. No hope whatsoever. So we're going to have to deal with shopkeepers the entire rest of the way. But there are worse things. There are worse things in life than angry old men with shotguns trying to murder you at every turn. <laughs> I guess. Uh, oh. Oopsies. It's a good thing I got all that yummy, yummy HP in my tummy. Speaking of, let's get even more. What? How many shotgun blasts does that guy take? Oh my god. I've never really thought about it. Or I don't... I've never really counted or paid, a, paid attention. That guy took way more shotgun blasts than I thought he was going to. Uh, let's break in here. Because we can get some more bombs, you know. We don't have enough already. I don't really care about anything else. I could go to Tusk's Palace. I could play the game, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to waste the time. Um, because sometimes it can take uh, a while to win. Uh, and I don't I don't want to risk spawning the ghost. Not when I'm doing this well. Alright, we got to pick up Excaliboy. Kill, uh, kill Humphead. Giant fish man. We could clone the pet. Do we have time for that? We probably have time for that. Where uh, where was she? Two minutes. Oh god. Oh we. Oh shoot. I kind of actually. Oh wait. We get a clover. What am I? What am I talking about? We get a clover for coming in here. We're fine. We're fine. I was a little worried for a second there when I looked at the clock, but this is plenty of time. As long as I remember to get the clover before three minutes. Jeez. Oh, easy challenge with a jetpack. And lots of money. Not that we have any use for that anymore, other than a decent score. Which, I suppose, is the point of doing the daily challenge. So We've got that going for us. Thank you. And yes, if anybody's wondering, I already have the Broken Sword journal entry, so no need for me to clone Excalibro. Excalibro, Excaliboy, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna do this, we're gonna go, oh shoot, I forgot that he was gonna move because I picked him up and dropped him. Now we're gonna cash all these guys in after I've vampirically drained them of their blood, of their blood. Let's go kill Humphead. Get some more blood. Ow! I'm supposed to. Ow! I'm being stupid and bad. I hate. Ah! Uh, I'm losing it. Uh, I forgot that there would be a shopkeeper down here from spawning at that exit up there. Maybe. On second thought, I don't want to be here. What am I doing? This is an actual embarrassment. Okay. I... Yeah, I don't want to go get that present. Not, not worth it. Absolutely just not worth it. that uh, shotgun toting shopkeeper we're just going to proceed as planned hmm. 
So here's another thing that we're gonna do. Here's something that we're gonna try here. I have never tried the uh, Ankh skip here. But we've got a ton of bombs and a ton of ropes. So uh, quite frankly, this is as good a time as any. There's two skips that I know of. Two skips. One of the skips uh, was generic. It was figured out really early after that first patch, but um, it's the one where you just like use a butt ton of bombs to clear out the floor so that the lava settles uh, as you hide underneath the uh, idle platform. That one works. I could do that because I have a ton of bombs. Oh my God, oh my God. Where did that guy come from? I almost just died because of that. Holy moly. God, that's why I hate Spelunky. All right, let's get that guy into the lava, please. Thank you. Yeah. So I could do the the easy, safe, like pretty much guaranteed skip because I have a ton of bombs. Oh wait, what am I doing? I still need to, uh, I need to drop off uh, Excalibur and the jetpack up at the top for when I uh, respawn on the off chance, on the off chance that I mess this skip up. But the other skip that I'm gonna try, the second skip that I'm talking about, I actually, I've seen a couple of people call it out, but I think the first person that I saw uh, suggest it and do it was Xanagear. He is another Spelunky YouTuber that I have no doubt you guys are all aware. Um, but I saw him do it. And I'm gonna try to pull it off. It's it's pretty. Oh wait, it's not gonna work with um, paste. It won't work with the paste. Uh, that's a bummer. Can't do it. Okay. I'm also running out of time. Ghost is gonna show up. I'm being too slow. Yep. Talking too much. Uh, I don't have time to. So that one, that skip won't work because of the paste and the other skip I simply don't have time for without spawning the ghost. So unfortunately, unfortunately I'm just gonna have to waste the onk here. It's whatever. Still a good run. Still a good run. Can still make it to Hundun. Definitely still have a good setup for that at the very least. Now where's that door? Easy peasy. Let's get ourselves a tablet of destiny. That guy was obviously a crab. Saw that coming from a mile away. Now we have to start. Okay, I don't like that. Now we have to start reaccumulating our health pool. No, no. No! Everybody leave me alone! You fish! Just okay. This is really quite bad, actually. Uh, this is really quite bad, actually. Me getting poisoned. I mean, it'll get cured from that pet that I just put in, but hopefully, I can kill Kingu really quick without getting hit before uh, I have to worry about that. Okay, that's not helpful. There's a poison tick right there. Come on, give me that. We gotta go. We're on a uh, we're on a tight schedule here now. Gotta cure that poison. Oh, I went down too far. No. Oh, okay. We're fine. It's fine. Oh, I'm gonna. I want to farm up some health here. There's lots of yetis and little guys here that will make that job easier. Gotta get back to a comfy, a comfy zone of HPs. Uh, we're gonna give this guy the whack. Sometimes 
I wonder if it's worth it to do the two hit for the blood and then still turn him in, but I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kill him and get the blood. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I'll be fine. I'll get enough health back. Nothing of value to be had by risking my life uh, killing the Yeti folk. Nothing of value there. Just because I already have the spike boots, I already have a compass. The only other thing I can really benefit from is the rope. I could go in there and get a four leaf clover, but it's only gonna last me this level anyways, and I don't plan on being here super long. So, I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm trying to take the safe approach here. I was actually, oh, hey look. Oh, that's interesting that he's dead over there without falling into the abyss. I feel like it's near impossible for him not to have fallen in, in the abyss, but here we are. And this is smooth. This is smooth run. Although my voice echoing in here sucks a little bit. I'm not going to lie about it. There it is! Ha <laughs> ha! Spelunky 2, baby! Let's go! Thanks for watching, everybody! <laughs>